Hi everyone, this is Bree from Doubles or Nothing. I am just filming a quick video to show how to use a printable that I have up in my Etsy shop. It is based on the teacher planner from the Happy Planner line. And um, I've noticed that a lot of people are taking, usually it's, usually it's this one. And it's like, it'll have like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and then across the top is blank for subjects. But most people are flipping that because it, it'll leave you room for seven subjects. And then that just fits perfectly with the days of the week. So I'm finding that people tend to flip them and have the days of the week up top, and then they can use this for planning social media or um, pretty much anything. I'm gonna use mine for my wellness planner. Um, I just have like a food log, exercise log, and then place to track um, my gratitude for the day, my mood, my sleep, whatever else I feel like tracking having to do with wellness. So I just wanted to show how to use these principles that are in my shop. Um, I have them sized for the mini, which I'll show real quick. A little bit different for the mini, but still all the days of the week, and then um, three boxes for Monday through Friday, and then only one box for Saturday and Sunday. And I have them sized for the Big Happy Planner, which is a full letter size, eight and a half by 11. Um, these would also work really well for, if you're just using a regular three hole punch binder, you can just punch it like normal and stick it in any binder. So I have two different options. This is the one that I've been using. So each week comes with Monday through Sunday. And there's one option where it gives you four boxes down the side, or the next option is five boxes down the side. And this is available in both, so five subjects, five groups, five, however you want to group your, your planner. Um, this option is available in both classic and big, and the mini only comes in the way I just showed it, because that's really all that fits in a mini happy planner. But this is the one I use. And this is the one that's more of a classic teacher planner with the five boxes down the side in case you do need five subjects. But all you do, they're all set to print. They, the PDF files all come ready to print on 8.5 by 11 paper, so you don't need to resize anything no matter what printer you're using. And then I just have cut lines so that you can cut it down to the size of a classic happy planner, which is what I've been doing. I'm thinking of purchasing a teacher planner that has everything dated for me, but I'm trying it out like this first to see how I like it. And that way I don't have to commit to a whole planner layout. All right, and then you use your arc punch of some sort. I have the one that's by Happy Planner for the classic size paper. So it has li lines where you can line up the edges of your paper. But any punch that will get you the correct holes for a disc bomb planner will work. And then I can just pop it right into your Happy Planner. And again, this works for the Happy Planner, but the one that's made for the Big Planner is the full sheet of paper that doesn't need to be cut down to size. You just keep the entire page and just hole punch that. This one will fit in the Big Planner, or it will just fit in a regular three ring like bound notebook. But I use this for my wellness planner. I was doing... Um, vertical, but I think this is going to work a little bit better because I need more space to not just write an emotion like for my mood of the day, but to write why I'm feeling that way. Or like if I'm feeling extra stressed, it's because I want to write why. So I like having a little bit more space to journal. And this has very um, light marks on it. So the, the lines in each box are extremely light, but also so are the days of the week. So What's the date today? I think yesterday was the 8th. So you can easily just write an 8 and a 9 and a 10 over it and just have your, your days of the week out that way. Or, since they're super light, I know Happy Planner has these stickers that I really like to use if I can find them.
So I got these, I think this was just in the dates um, and holidays sticker book, I'm pretty sure. So I know a lot of people use these really big numbers here just because they're fun and they're pretty. Um, but it'll work with, sorry, I already forgot what day of the week that's going to be. So that's the 10th. But these ones are almost completely clear. So you can also stick these ones just above it. Let me hold it up so you can see a little better. Like this. And date it that way. So for mine, I will have things like um, just writing with a Statler um, fine liner. Um, mine is going to look more like um, food log, um, exercise, log, and sleep. The sleep will only take one line, I'll write um, probably how many hours of sleep I got. And then down here, I want a place to actually write out like a little bit of journaling about my gratitude. And then here will be my mood. So this is how I use the teacher planner. Um, and well, my own kind of version of the teacher planner and how I've seen a lot of people do it. Other people will do like um, tracking YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, and then um, any other, like a little note section they'll keep. So there's many, many uses for these teacher planners. Um, this is available in my Etsy shop and I will have that linked down below. Go ahead and check it out. Um, I will have them very cheap, of course. I do all of my printables extremely cheap because you're paying for your own paper and your own ink. This is just a, a less expensive way to try out a new planner before you buy it from the Happy Planner or if you want to just always print your own undated like this and just write the numbers up top. It's an extremely cheap way to fill your planner with the kind of inserts you want without having to buy a whole new planner. So, all right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.